Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll take you through a quick tutorial on how to extend your backdrop in Photoshop. Now we move from this image to this. These are end results from this to this. Now if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, kindly do so and hit the bell so you don't get to miss any of my tutorials. Okay guys, welcome back. So as I said, it's going to be a quick tutorial on how to extend your solid backdrops in Photoshop. Now let's delete this and start fresh. So we export this to Photoshop and do the work from there. I always work in TIFF. So now as you are aware, I use Capture One. So I mostly do tutorials for Capture One. I've never used Lightroom. So bear with me. Now this is our image. If uh, you happen to shoot in a small space or if you have a limited backdrop, but you don't have a full one and you still need to shoot for it to look big, then this tutorial is for you. So in this case, this is what we have. Now I always uh, like my backdrops you know, wide, but because of the space I use, I don't normally have a wide backdrop. Sometimes I also buy one full backdrop and share it with a friend. So in this case, this is what we did. We had a full backdrop and then divided it into two. So each person has half. Now that doesn't stop you from shooting and then making your images look as though they were shot in bigger studios. So first thing is I, I want to extend um, this frame for it to be bigger. So what we do is image, then the canvas size, this is where you do it. So I change it to percent and then increase it by 20, the width, because I want to extend the width. So I make it 120. I've added 20% and in all directions. So, okay. Now that extends, you see the black area, it picked the background color, the background color here to set it there. So, now we use the marker to this yeah, the rectangular marker to for this purpose. So just select the clean area that you want to extend, and then you go to edit. Then use your free transform, or you can. I use shortcuts a lot, so on the normal door I used Command T and mark it for this. Once you can see the arms come around, so you just click here and then drag it so that it's like magic. You press enter. So we do it for this side also. Now don't click in and drag, otherwise, you get it. From. So you always click it from outside. Now don't be scared if it clicks in, just make sure you leave enough space at the end so that you'll be able to use your arrow key to move the rectangular menu. And then you go to edit, free transform, click, and drag it to the end. Press enter. So, command D to deselect. Now, we've done it for the sides. We want it to affect the top here also. So, we do the same thing here. Command T, click here, and extend it. So, as I said, quick way of doing that. Now, this is what we have. And if you save it, then go back to Capture One, we have it here. Remember we deleted what we had, so we move from here to this. Guys, how easy it was that? So we've come to the end of today's tutorial so fast. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for watching.